Hey guys, Aiden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we are going to be enrolling a zone expander onto the IQ Pro alarm system. So this is going to be quite a bit quicker than some of our other videos. Enrolling a single expander is pretty quick. Um, this is the process you'll use for all expanders on the system though. So what would be best is if you are going to hook up a lot of expanders, do them all at the same time, and that way when you enroll them into the panel, um, you can actually, it will just automatically set up all of them together, which I'll explain more in just a moment, but for now, um, we need to do the wiring. So on the zone expander there, you'll see the red, black, yellow, and green wires are going to the red, black, yellow, and green terminals there. And that is the core bus. You'll find a core bus on all modules, including the main board. So over here, you're basically just gonna connect the wires up to those four terminals, the same way I did there on the zone expander. So give me one second. All right, so I'm um, pretty straightforward, but as you can see there, red, black, yellow, and green, red, black, yellow, and green. So. Now with zone expanders, there is one other thing I wanna go over real quick, and that is the spacing within the cabinets. So the metal cabinet, um, I believe it has six total spaces for zone expanders. Um, this plastic cabinet, however, has four. Um, it's each one of these uh, rectangles right here. So for all of these slots, you can have a zone expander set in there and clipped in so that it stays in place. So could have one there, one there, one down here, and then one on the left side of the board there. So you can have four within the, the plastic cabinet, and if you do have more wired zones that you need to hook up, you'll need a secondary DSC cabinet. Um, now that we have the module connected, basically I need to get connected to the installer app, so give me one second. All right, so now that we have the installer app up and it is connected to the panel, um, you are going to have to go in with either the installer code or the dealer code. So enter your code to get into the panel. And the instructions for enrolling this expander are going to apply whether or not you are in the uh, install wizard or if you're out of it. Um, I will show you how to navigate to the security tab real quick in case you haven't seen that yet. Uh, basically you click the config button down here at the bottom left, click installation, devices, security sensors, and that is going to bring up your list of devices and modules. However, once you are in that security screen, um, you can literally just press the plus button here, click auto learn, start auto learn and the system itself because it is directly wired into that expander is going to pick up that expander and enroll it automatically so as you saw there it popped up with a bunch of stuff that was each and every single one of the zones from this expander and the expander itself enrolling into the system so if we look here um, anytime you're in the auto learn section it's only going to show you what you have added during that auto learn session. So that is kind of handy for this. But basically, it shows Zone Expander 1 there. That would be this one. You can click on it, open it up, and then if you need to see which one it is, um, let's say you're enrolling a bunch of them at the same time, uh, you check the ESN number right here. So the ESN corresponds to the SN that is on the expander right there. So uh, basically, you don't have to change anything in this section, actually advise against messing with any of those settings. However, um, once you've gone in there, made sure which module it is, just click save to back out. And then as you scroll down, you have all of the different inputs for uh, the expander. So if you've seen our zones video before, um, basically I went over the fact that the IQ Pro and the installer app, they call each of the zones on an expander or the main board an input. So as you'll see here, it says expander one, input one. So since this is expander one, input one is Z1, which is zone one on the expander. So um, don't pay attention to the slot numbers because that will just confuse you. As you can see, it starts at 12 there, 12, 13, 14, blah, blah, blah. Basically, the slot number is the total overall device number within the system, and the input number is the actual zone. So everything just kind of goes in order on these IQ panels. It's just kind of the way they're coded. But uh, whenever you do go to set up a zone, basically all you need to do is click on it, 
decide the settings that you're going to use for it, whether it's a door or window, whether it's a smoke sensor, whatever the case, set a name and then set a sensor group for that sensor click save and then you'll just go down through and set up each and every one of the zones as needed and then once you're done you just click stop auto learn click yes and it's going to let you know that all these things still aren't configured but that's okay we can just back out and then whenever we get back to our main screen here as you can see all of them are still available to edit. Now, if you do need to, um, let's say you're only using seven of the eight zones on the expander, um, you can go in here to input eight, click the trash can right there, and you can delete that zone off of the system. So that is basically all you're going to do, whether you are in the installer wizard or if you are going in you know, after the fact. Um, basically, you go to the security screen, click the plus, choose auto learn the system will pick it up as long as it is wired in properly and you'll be good to go the only other thing you have to worry about on these expanders is the tamper so um, with most modules you will have either a tamper button or a switch like what you have over here on the cabinet something along those lines however with these zone expanders they use terminal based tampers so on the expanders here, you'll see the very far left terminal is called TMP+. That is the positive side of the tamper circuit. So if you plan to use tampers, like uh, let's say you had a metal cabinet and you wanted to put a tamper switch on the door itself, you can use the tampers for these zone expanders as a way to directly connect that into a module. And that way you don't have to take up a zone for you know something like that. However, on these expanders, if you don't plan to use the tamper, you need to take a short piece of wire and you need to jumper the TMP plus and the black terminal. And that is what your final product will look like. So as long as that jumper is on there, that tamper will be silent and you won't have any trouble conditions as far as tamper goes for the expanders. So you need to do that on every single expander that you're not going to be using for a tamper. So. Um, other than that though, that is literally all the information I can give about enrolling zone expanders on here. Um, the zone configuration and everything follows exactly with our other video that I did um, showing in the sensors. I'll link that down below. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, hopefully that was informative. If you guys have any additional questions, by all means, drop them down below. Otherwise, drop a like and subscribe if you don't mind, and I will catch you guys on the next one.